It is said that Smith Wigglesworth saw 20 plus people raised from the dead in this ministry. We should desire to see the raw power of God move in our midst, whether it's raising the dead, healing of sickness and disease, and destroying all works of the enemy. Seeing people saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, whatever it is, we ought to be agents to destroy. And absolutely, as pastor preached this morning, absolute weapons to not be persecuted by the enemy, but to persecute the kingdom of darkness. Because guess what? Jesus said, greater works shall ye do because I go to the Father. Why don't we see greater works in the church? It's because the church has civilized idols that hinder the move and the power of the Spirit of God. People are more influenced by news, more influenced by the internet, more influenced by television, more influenced by their political party, more influenced by their ethnos than the moving of the Spirit of God, more influenced by money, which is the ultimate idol. You know what the Bible says? You cannot serve God and serve man. It didn't say serve God and even Satan, but God and mammon. We have to be absolutely throw down and destroy the idols in our midst to see the moving and the manifest glory in the presence of the power of God and exercise the dominion that Adam had in the, uh, in the garden to exercise the dominion of the second Adam when he came upon the earth and to exercise the dominion that was seen in the early church apostles. This is not just a word gospel. This is not just a theoretical gospel. This is not just a what a Jesus can and do gospel. This is what a Jesus will do gospel and a demonstration of that power moving in and amongst our midst.